Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix, and today we are taking a look at a new Marine Morpher set. That is the new ship that came from SirToys.com and Magic Classroom. I, I picked this up at SirToys.com. In fact, this is the last thing I picked up at SirToys.com. This ship is not a traditional aircraft carrier. It is an aircraft carrier, but it is specifically made for helicopters. As you can see, there is no... Well, there is no area on the flight deck for a plane to take off otherwise it would hit the side there it comes with multiple little helicopters that you see here and it is a big boy though it's not as big as the original aircraft carrier now it also has these protrusions out of the side which i am assuming are supposed to be anchors they just cover up the robot's hands in this mode and the hands don't go in anymore the little helicopters are so cute i love them they are so tiny and delicate the rotors do spin but they're so tiny i don't bother and yes these are blackout from the transformers the original movie from 07 same exact helicopter model now compared to the original big boy look at that it, it, it that original one's a lot bigger this sucker is still pretty darn big but that original one is definitely bigger and way more dusty I, yeah, these are cool. Now, the tower on both of these, when I got both of them, were disassembled. So in order to get that tower, which I'm pointing to right now, you or to attach it, you have to unscrew those three screws that you see there on the screen, and then split it apart, sandwich them over a plastic peg, and then re-screw the screws back in. The whole process took me like three minutes so it's not that big of a deal it's very easy now this thing is heavy and it is just about the same heft as the original figure it also has the tower that can slide forward and back that's for the transformation and the transformation is pretty darn cool to begin the transformation go to the middle of this of the ship and flip out those little red bits that are behind the big panel with the yellow on it then grab them collapse them and turn them around 180 degrees if you don't do that it, it ends up affecting the robot mode in a weird way now come to the back of the st or the stern of the ship and split that entire section in half and then that'll give you the legs now the legs are very floppy as you can see there you need to kind of flip the hip up into place and snap it into place and it's a little bit harder than you might think. You just have to make sure that you're pushing directly up and not in any other direction. And then come to the sides that are just behind the upper thighs, flip those panels out of the way, and they'll fold down to the lower legs, and then you fold them up. And one thing that's cool on the inside of them is it looks like there are missile turrets on the inside of those panels. So head cannon, missiles shoot out of the bottom of his legs. Turn the figure around and then come to the very back of the ship and then fold those red bits forward towards you. And then the red bits will then fold out towards you and those will become the feet, kind of like high heels. A little weird. You see those red panels right above that? Slide them into the inside of the, via of the robot mode and then push them and fold them in to form the inside of the legs. And then you can flip those blue panels down, and then the red panels that are above the original red panels will form kneecaps. Stand the figure up, and then take the tower and push it as far down as it'll go. You'll have to straighten out the butt flap. Just, just do that, trust me. And then we're going to come to the top or the bow of the, of the ship and split it in half. And just rip that sucker in half, because the entire like front third of the ship is going to form the arms. Now there's a panel on the back just above where the head is going to appear. There's a door that flips inside towards the head and then that whole panel will flip onto the back. And then we can lift up the tower and we'll do that a little bit later. The next part is you kind of want to straighten the arms out. The underside of the ship will form the shoulders. And that's the red part you see there. You want to push that forward or have that presenting forward. Next, see that yellow bit or the bit with the yellow on it? We want to turn it. But before we could do that, I missed a step. 
and we have to grab the entire upper torso and the lower torso and pull them apart. Next, take that panel and turn it to the side and then push it up and that will enable us to grab the head and pull the head up the rest of the way. Kind of wish it was a little bit spring loaded or something, but that's yeah, fine. Now, take the side skirts that we had to get out of the way first and fold them back into place and then go up to the arms and you see those big components that where the anchor is? Fold the anchor down, flip the fist up, and then we could collapse the anchor into the forearm so we don't have hollow forearms. And then you could take those forearms and fold them down along the ratchets and straighten them out. And now we'll move on to the big bow pieces hanging off the side. Those have a panel on the top that you flip the panel out. There's a big old gun turret. Turn that around 180 degrees, then close the panel up and then collapse the panel and peg it into the outside of the forearm. Do that on both sides and then we're pretty much done. The robot mode is so nice. The blue, the red, the dark ship gray, and then the yellow and the silver and the chest all work incredibly well for this figure. And I love the look of it. I love the little nod to Megatron that he's got in the cannon bit coming off the back of his, well, the back. And then he's got a butt flap. I just love the little butt flap. The overall aesthetic of the robot mode is so good. Now compared to the original figure that I have slightly mistransformed, he is about the same size up to the head, except he doesn't have the giant pylons over the shoulders. Instead, he's got the giant forearms. Now, the original figure that there is on the right, I've got the chest mistransformed. I fixed that later. They have the same hands, which I find really funny. It's the exact same parts. There's no difference in the hands. They're the same size. They are the same parts. They are the same shape. Head sculpt for this new guy has an Orion Pax feel to that I really do enjoy. And it's kind of got a doofy grin, not a grin, just this doofiness to it, but I like it compared to the kind of pseudo Ultra Magnus that we've got going on with the head sculpt on this guy. Unfortunately, the new figure doesn't come with any accessories other than the helicopters, and it sure doesn't come with a giant freaking sword. I would have loved if there could have been a giant freaking gun or something like that, but he's got the guns in the arms on the forearms, which are a little bit too heavy. There's some die-cast metal on the gray bits, and it makes for uh, difficulty in posing. Oh, it's also top-heavy if you haven't guessed. And speaking of the posability, head is on a ball joint and can do the swivels and look up a little bit and look down a little bit. There is a butterfly joint in the inside of the shoulder, and then you can see the ratchet joint that is actually on the shoulder. And it is clicky. Unfortunately, my microphone didn't pick it up. And then the there is a swivel. Oh, yeah, there's a hinge. And then there's a bend at the knee, elbow, 90 degrees, swivel just above the elbow. Fists do not articulate, but they do open and close which is nice. I do appreciate that, but he's got nothing to grab. So what's the point? There is a ratcheted torso swivel and then an ab crunch. I don't understand why there's an ab crunch, but it is appreciated. Hip joints are ratcheted and then there's a thigh swivel and it's typical leg articulation at this point. The only real problem is the thigh swivel. I'll talk about that a little later. Bend at the knee is 90 degrees and it does have some foot articulation. There is an ankle rocker and the toe does go forward and back per the transformation. While some dynamic poses are able to be had, there is so much die cast or plasticky die cast in this figure that it makes the figure overly top heavy and the joints just aren't strong enough it's the same problems with the original marine morphers figure except exacerbated because the weight instead of being on the shoulders is actually on the outside of the arms this is the best pose i was able to come up with during the filming of this review it looks good but it's got some issues and those joints just aren't strong enough to hold the weight of the metal that is on this figure I like this figure quite a bit. The robot mode is absolutely fantastic, even with all of its flaws. And the biggest flaw being those thigh swivels. They are so loose that they just can't hold together or hold a pose. I have tried taking the legs apart already to see if I can tighten them up. No dice. Having the both of these figures together really 
makes it feel like I have two different figures. And they are two very different figures that both transform into similar boats. And, well, they're just cool. I mean, how many boat transformers have we gotten over the past few years? Both of these things are worth the money. They're only like 40 bucks a pop, and that's how much I got them off of Sir Toys. I haven't found them anywhere else other than AliExpress and randomly on eBay for like a hundred bucks a pop. I'm not paying, I, no, don't pay a hundred dollars for these things. 40 to 50 bucks, perfectly doable, perfectly serviceable. They're both worth having. They really are. I like both of them. So folks, let me know what you think of the new Marine Morphers down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Bolt Matrix and I hope you all have a wonderful day.